I'm really at a loss for words at this point. I've been stalked, harassed, blackmailed by um, Sultan Kassam and Danny the Heck uh, for an extended period of time. Uh, I live under constant threats against my life, against my family's life, my, my little girls. Um, I am absolutely and totally uh, at, at a point where I have got to take drastic action. Um, what, what happened in the last two weeks, three weeks, um, really showed me that I have got to take, um, I've got to get out there and I've got to take the strongest legal action and go straight to um, and utilize the justice system. Um, essentially what happened was like recently uh, was that they went and uh, found one of the houses that I was putting on the market uh, through post. Uh, it's a house that I bought last year for my mother. My mother ended up not needing it. Uh, she lives in the area that uh, the small town that it's in. So she moved to Texas with us and uh, we didn't need it. So put on the market, they found they found a post and they started sharing it throughout um, their posse, their group, their gang. And uh, two days later, a town that has no crime, has no um, burglaries or, I mean, it's, it's probably the quietest town closest to Maybury you could have. Somebody came up and they sludge hammered the front door, um, sludge hammered the um, knob on the door completely off. The officers on the scene that came were literally like, this makes absolutely and totally um, no sense because burglars don't just go and sledgehammer front doors. Um, they go through the back, they go through the back door, they go through the, the you know, the basement window, they go through, um, I mean, the easiest places, the places they're not going to get seen. Um, they said that this, this was somebody wanting this to be seen. Um, one day later, about 24 hours later, um, not less than, uh, or not more than 48, my sister-in-law was coming to our house in Texas, um, and she saw somebody messing with the gate and, um, she honked, they jumped in their car and they sped off. Um, she went up there and they were trying to pry the gate open, just tore completely apart. And, um, eventually they are, um, at our house um basically there, there's several houses that live within a gated area and um, they are essentially trying to get in that area and we're trying to figure out how we can stop that from happening again but i mean i'm at a total loss for words i, I don't know what to do at this point um, we're filing every possible thing we can against them the justice system here uh, and abroad in uh, New Zealand and the UK, but I can say, um, like it, it's got to stop. And I'm at a point where I will do, no, I, I will not stop until they are both in prison for all the all that they've done, the terrorizing that they've done. Um, I, I wanted them to just stop at one point because, I mean, of our our sanity. Um, I mean, it means a lot by uh, the piece. Um, honestly, I've stopped even watching them or doing anything. But after this happened, uh, I can't. I can't just can't just stop. I've got to make sure that this doesn't happen again. And uh, so I'm just hoping that the justice system could take it forward from from where we've done, and uh, oh, we can just actually get the justice that, that we we deserve. And then a lot of the people that um Danny Beck has influenced and talked about and, uh, as well so uh, I just want to get this message out there